Hi, and welcome to the Balancing Act New York Edition. I'm Montel Williams. We're bringing you community stories and introducing you to businesses and people who are making a difference. So let's see who's making a difference right here in your neighborhood. On this episode of The Balancing Act, we've got life-changing documentaries, luxury cars at an affordable price, new ways to learn math, and much more. The hard work nonprofits put in to change lives is remarkable. Take a look at this. There are an incredible amount of social injustices and human rights issues plaguing our world, from human trafficking to genocide. That means the world is full of people whose stories need to be told. So many social justice and human rights issues that deserve attention today, and many of us are bombarded by them. What we try to do is to focus in on ones that we think are critically important that maybe most people don't know about. We focus on genocide, sex trafficking, um, ecocide, which is really environmental justice and climate change and how it impacts all of us. We also focus on veterans and the trauma of war and a lot about Native American rights and indigenous rights. What we've learned is that somehow all these issues are, are interconnected. So you can't talk about genocide without um, acknowledging sexual violence. You can't talk about specific genocides of the 21st century without looking at how environmental factors caused the genocide. For the survivors, they are able to tell their story as an act of healing. And for the community who bears witness, uh, we create ways for them to act, so there's a call to action. And we are also creating historical evidence to live and for generations to be able to access it. For over a decade, Three Generations has been at the forefront of unearthing urgent human rights stories. They've produced short films, feature documentaries, and hundreds of videos that cover critical justice issues in our communities. So Three Generations has a bit of a dual meaning. Uh, first and foremost, it represents the idea that it takes three generations of a family for the trauma of a experience related to genocide or, or crimes against humanity to sort of wind its way through uh, a family. And then in the context of my family, my grandfather who liberated uh, and filmed the liberation of Bergen-Belsen concentration camp shared that story. My mother has been sharing these stories and I've become involved in the organization in a way to represent that third generation. To tell stories that are not being covered by mainstream news media that we think are really important but maybe other people haven't seen the significance yet or haven't got there to tell that story. Native American women who have experienced trafficking, domestic violence, poverty, loss of children through child protection, um, chemical dependency. Across the board we're underrepresented. We have to be very careful who we work with and who tells our stories especially if they're non-Indigenous. So getting into the community sometimes is pretty hard. Um, and so spending years developing a relationship and trust with three generations was really important. And having those conversations of what's okay, what's not okay, you know, we want our stories told. We love to grow this community. Um, we love our community to bring in their friends and family. We want them to follow us on social media, share our content, um, most importantly, watch our content, and, and also bring us ideas for stories. We'd love to have people tell us, you know, what's going on in their neighborhoods and their parts of the world, and hopefully we can, we can help tell those stories. For more information on Three Generations and the incredible work they're doing, visit their website, threegenerations.org, or go to our website, thebalancingact.com. With so many choices, how do you get the right car for you? Let's find out. Buying a new car is cool and exciting, but it can also be a stressful experience if you buy it from the wrong place. But it doesn't have to be that way. The things that people should take into consideration when buying a new car are several things. Obviously, price is very important. Features and benefits to the vehicle are also very important. As important is also the component of where you buy the car from. And that's where we try to make a big difference in how we do business. 
but what we try to do is give them a large selection of scope of what we have and how we can fit them into that particular vehicle and that it makes sense for them on all levels. I've been doing this for a very long time and I know that buying a car can be very stressful for most people. So we take an approach where we try to be very, very pragmatic in serving up the needs of the customer and walking them through the path in a very comfortable, very safe way that makes them make the selection. Not what we want to push, not what we think is best for them, but what they like and how we can assist them in that process. With the right dealership and the right people, you can buy a new car easily and painlessly. It starts by taking the typical sales tactics out of the buying process. At car dealerships, they try to feed you this perfect image of a vehicle and they try to push a vehicle onto you. Over at Bell Mitsubishi, we don't have to do that because we have a vehicle for everyone's needs that suits everyone's needs. We are a family-based company, so you become our family. We don't want to only sell a vehicle to you, we want to sell a vehicle to you, your mom and dad. Well, we're very proud to represent the Mitsubishi brand. It is one of the most renowned brands in the world. Actually, it was the first Japanese car manufacturer. It also was the manufacturer that invented all-wheel drive and four-wheel drive which most people aren't aware of. So it is one of the most reliable cars in the world. Because of that, we also have the best manufacturer warranty that's available in the marketplace, bar none. Mitsubishi represents great value all around because of the fact that the options that they represent, on, even on the base models, are standard. It's an upcharge in most of the brands. So you're getting great options, great reliability, and low cost maintenance. It's a win-win package. With the Outlander, the Eclipse Cross, the Mirage, and also the PHEV, you get top amenities with the lower price point. With Mitsubishi, you don't need to spend top dollar in order to be top dollar. You get the best of both worlds. You get the lower price point with all of the premium amenities. Luxury amenities at an affordable price. That's the goal at Bell Mitsubishi. At Bell Mitsubishi, we're really proud to be a highly rated dealer. And one of the ways you can look into that is with Google reviews. We're an extremely highly rated dealer and also at dealerrater.com, which is also an industry standard, the Mitsubishi represents a lot of luxury features that most people are not aware of. It's actually modest luxury. So for example, dual pane glass, machine finish knobs, high-end Bose sound systems, heads-up display. Again, these are features that are only available in the high-end luxury cars. If you're ready to drive your dream car and keep money in your pocket, visit their website, bellmitsubishi.com, or just go to our website, thebalancingact.com. Education is always evolving. Let's see some of the innovations that are helping our kids learn better. Did you know that over 40% of Fortune 500 companies use e-learning on a regular basis? Or that e-learning participants learn almost five times more than they would during in-person learning? Listen to this. So the shift in, uh, from in-person to online was actually forced by necessity in these uh, tragic epidemic-related circumstances where we basically had to be pushed out of the classroom um, and everybody basically grappled with the fact that they had to be on camera. When you are traditionally teaching in a traditional classroom, you have, in my mind, always three sets of students. One set is really getting it. They are in the zone. The set which, has, which is more prepared one third of the class is getting bored because for them it is too simple. So they are, they're dreaming, they're, they're thinking about something else. So one third of the class is behind it, they're not following it. So in general, and, and lots and lots of studies have been done on this, is that the learning style and the learning pace can hardly be captured in a class. I think one of the biggest roles of technology in education is uh, the role of the internet. Uh, because of the internet, people all over the world can access information in an instant. And it's our role as educators to uh, try to reach as many people as we can and provide a quality education. The educators at Tomorrow's Genius have created incredible online programs to help interested students with mathematics. It has been designed to be as simple an application as possible, which takes up very little internet bandwidth 
so that it is easy to run and use for students as well as for teachers anywhere in the world using something as uh, simple as a simple smartphone or something as sophisticated as a high-end mainframe. Our whiteboard offers the best of classroom learning but with the added feature of technology and electronic communication. Teachers can share presentations, they can share videos, they can share text, they can share pictures, etc. with the students in an interactive classroom environment. The programs at Tomorrow's Genius are the perfect mix of taped instruction and individual homework, all of which gets reviewed online. The Tomorrow's Genius platform is a really helpful resource for students and also for teachers. You know, as a teacher, I have a lot of freedom to design courses in the way I want to. I can upload video lessons, I can create practice questions um, and write uh, explanations to those questions. I can upload course notes and uh, organize it all by topic. Education is to grow your brain, not to suppress it or make you fearful of learning. Our methodology, our motto is to make learning enjoyable just like a video game is enjoyable. If you want to help your child with their algebra, or if you're a teacher looking to spruce up your curriculum, visit their website, tomorrowsgenius.com, or go to our website, thebalancingact.com. Up next, what to consider when you require legal services. Immigration law is a broad category and a confusing one. It can seem difficult understanding which laws apply to your case. Immigration laws are unique. Most Americans don't understand them. <clears throat> Most foreigners don't understand them. So it's very important that you speak with somebody that has experience so they can explain them to you. They're not as complicated as they appear. As soon as an immigration question arises for you or your family members, go seek help. Go seek advice and find out what your options are. The Yerman Group was founded in 2002 to help the thousands of immigrants in the tri-state. When a client comes to the Yerman Group, we try to get to know them as best as possible because we're going to need to present themselves to immigration, to the government, and present them in the best light. We need to know our clients very well. Every case is different, and so each person we sit down individually with family members and ask a series of questions, which will eventually lead to the evidence that we will bring and submit to the government on their behalf. At, at the Yerman Group, we take the holistic approach to solving our clients' problems. Uh, in 2014, my husband received a deportation order. Uh, this time, it was the most worst and most difficult time in our life because if I thinking I need to go back in our country, it would destroy our life. After we received the deportation order, I looking for many solutions in the last few days after when I received the deportation order, it happened one miracle in our life, I found Mr. Gary. First thing, he was he stopped the deportation order. After that, he reopened my husband's case and worked with uh, our case. And after our family received the permanent residency and the green card, no matter the case, the Yerman Group has a team that's dedicated to finding the right solution for you and your family. It's very important that not just myself, but everybody who works at the firm get to know our clients on an individual basis for many reasons. One, if you know somebody, you're just generally gonna work harder for them to get the results that they need. But number two, and more importantly, in immigration, we have an opportunity to present somebody with a path to legalization, which will allow them and their families a better life based upon their activities, based upon how hard they work. In the past 25 years, I've been able to help over 25,000 people. 
And that's 25,000 families that we've been able to unite and been able to provide them with legalization. And each family member is a reward to us. And each new client is a possibility to obtain that reward for them. I live here now in the United States without fear, without uh, stress, and without problem. We work from the heart. It's not just about the case, it's about people's lives. To learn more about how the Yerman Group can help with your immigration case, visit their website, yermangroup.com, or go to our website, thebalancingact.com. Seeking out a new look? Then check this out. Fashion is always changing, and one of the best ways to keep up with new trends at a reasonable price is to shop at consignment stores. It's time to turn over a new leaf in your fashion. If you love what you do, you'll never work a day in your life. So I decided I love shopping. I love the idea of consignment because it's the ability to turn over property, find the things that you have, and you know get the money back with the retail prices that you spent on it and it was good for the earth. And we named it New Leaf because it was from the 16th century proverb to turn over a new leaf or change a behavior, change an attitude. And our mission was to uh, change people's attitudes about how they perceived wearing other people's items. And I think we've done that in New Leaf. The merchandise is changing because we have so many fabulous consigners. These people, we have so many. We have about 3,000 now, and um, that's a lot. They all have um, different tastes. So when you have different tastes of people that are so different shapes and sizes, you get things from all over. Some people travel all over the world, so they change. Every day we take in between 20 to 100 pieces. It's all about the customer at New Leaf Consignment and creating new habits in fashion. When I was a little kid, I always wanted to say, Can I, I want to dress rock and rollers or fashion shows. And then they didn't have stylists back then, but I went to college. I have a Bachelor of Science in Clothing, Textiles, and Merchandising. I started as a buyer in the executive training program in Lord & Taylor in the city. That always came, um, you know, naturally to me. And it just, I got the opportunity to work with Arlene um, after my daughter went to college, like an act two. She was coming for a couple of days, and now I'm a partner. Well, I worked down the street. So one day on my lunch hour, I popped in because it looked like a cute shop. I was into consignment shops at that time, still am. And uh, her things were beautiful, curated beautifully. Her mannequins are the most gorgeous creatures around. And uh, it was a real friendly environment. It's a very easy way to do it. You sign in, they send you an email with the number of items that you've got. And then you either get paid by check or, in my case, by trade because I'd like to come in and shop. You come in here, you have me. <laughs> and I want to show you what looks good on you. And I want to show you what's in right now and what for your body type and what you're comfortable in. But I'll get to know you first. I could feel it right away when I meet somebody. I could see their style. But then when talking to them and getting to know them, where they want to go from there. I'm tired of being in sweatpants and sweat, you know, t-shirts. Her choices are terrific. The clothing that she sells are, they're up to date, they're cute, they're fun. You don't have to spend a lot of money. You don't have to shop and break the bank. Sometimes you come in here because you need something. Sometimes you come in here because you just want something new. See, we love being here because we do love what we do. Uh, now it's 27 years that we're approaching our anniversary and uh, I'm happy that New Leaf's been able to be a part of helping the earth. For more information, visit newleafconsignment.com or check out our website, thebalancingact.com. If you love art, then you're really gonna enjoy the story. Meet Carol Furman, a sculptor whose Manhattan studio is setting new trends in a classic favorite. Hyper-realistic sculptor. Ever heard of that before? <laughs> well, you have now. Take a look at this. Hyper-realism is a movement that I started in the late 70s with John DeAndrea and Wayne Hansen. I'm the only woman in the world that does hyper-realistic sculptures. During the last four decades, Carol has become the most renowned, influential, and popular hyper-realist sculptor. When I went to college, I had to work my way through, so I did illustration, and I got paid for doing 22 album covers, the Rolling Stones, uh, 
I did Monkey Man, I did Alice Cooper Snake for their world tour book. But when I graduated, I knew I always wanted to be a sculptor and I wanted to be a hyper-realist sculptor because I love realism. Great technique, resilience, and originality are distinguishing characteristics that define master artists. Carol Furman sculptors of women are a great example of this. I began making sculptures of women in the late 70s, but I really didn't know how to do it. So I found an artist who said he'd teach me how to work with the resins. And after experimenting and learning how to cast from life, I finally was able to start my first swimmer called Catalina, uh, the swimmer of the girl breaking through. I love to do sculptures of women because women breaking through is important and women artists breaking through is important. But at a certain point, I thought, well, men have to break through too. And I did the diver and then I did the double diver, which is 36 feet spirally way into the air. Unlike other hyper-realist sculptors, she doesn't put real clothes on her pieces. All of the bathing suits, swim caps, and accessories are sculpted onto the figure as one piece. I love making sculptures. I love to get my hands dirty. I love to cast people. Um, I like to do it all. Because it takes at least a year to two years to finish a piece, I work on many at the same time. Every brilliant and prolific creative professional has invested many hours mastering their skill. There are no shortcuts to mastery. So I had to learn how to really make these pieces um, unforgiving so that they could be outside because I'm the only one that does that. And it took me uh, at least 10 years till I mastered my skill. The entire sculpture is sculpted out of either epoxy or uh, bronze and they're painted with lacquers to look real. And the lacquer enables the pieces to be used outdoors. I do gold leaf, I put crystals on, and a lot of the pieces I put little hairs on. But the outdoor pieces, um, I don't put hair on. And I'm known for the water drops, but only water drops on indoor pieces. Carol has pioneered new approaches to sculpture. Her work has been showcased in exhibitions around the world, placed in selected public spaces, published in several art books, and has been purchased by art collectors and philanthropists. My work is owned by 19 museums. I won an award for the World Trade Center. I was one of the 10 finalists. I won the Venice Biennale. I won the Beijing Biennale and the Austrian Biennale. There are five coffee table books written about my career and uh, they started in 1999 to the current one called 50 Years and Looking Good that's just been published. And I'm doing another book, but this is about my autobiography and my life, uh, the life and legacy of Carol Furman. Throughout her artistic career, her style has undergone many transformations, but her passion for art and her love of creating endure. For me, art is everything. I'm art. Without art, I wouldn't be me. Art heals, art makes us happy, art communicates. When I do art, I feel good. To find out more about Carol Furman art, visit carolfurman.com and of course visit our website, thebalancingact.com. Giving back can be such a rewarding experience. Check out our next story. Alexandra's Playground, founded in 2009, recognizes the importance of daily active play for children. Play nurtures the body, spirit, and mind. In 2008, my daughter Alexandra passed away in a sailing accident. And in an effort to make sure that we remembered her and to make sure that she was still able to give back in a positive way, we created Alexandra's Playground. And Alexandra's Playground is founded on the belief that play is critically important for kids' development, physically, emotionally, socially, and mentally. Their work brings opportunities for safe and active play to children growing up in underserved communities. We look for communities with economic need and in areas where they don't have enough playgrounds for their children. And very often that will mean there's no playgrounds in the community within walking distance for the kids. We built this playground here at War Memorial in 2019. We're here in Yonkers. Uh, we had the support of the Yonkers Department of Recreation and our supporters who come back year after 
the year to build with us. Children today spend less time playing outside than any other generation. Being on their phones and watching TV has taken the place of active fun. The average child, 8 to 18 years of age, spends about seven and a half hours in front of a screen. Only one in five children live within one mile of playground. And only about 50% of schools have playgrounds. Sadly, there's an increase in things like attention deficit hyperactivity disorder, childhood obesity, anxiety, and depression in children. We think that much of this can be changed if we band together and work to put play opportunities in places of need. This message is not lost on their many sponsors and partners who recognize the power of play. So United Healthcare's mission is helping people live healthier lives. And on behalf of all the United Healthcare employees that live in the Tri-State area, what better way to do that than supporting an organization like Alexandra's Playground? This helps them become active, healthier minds, healthier bodies, all those good traits that they learn about playing in the playground they can take to an adulthood. So this is a safe environment, a fun environment, and it's really, it's a great mission. They host special events and fundraising efforts to help support their important missions and reach their goals. Our main fundraiser every year is our fall fundraising gala, where we have a live auction, a silent auction. We partner with the New York City Roadrunners, and we participate in the half marathon every year. The Summer Fun Just Play Bags Initiative is a great example of how they're giving the gift of play. We distributed 550 Summer Fun Just Play activity bags, has things like jump ropes and frisbees and soccer balls and a garden kit so that they can be active by themselves or with their family members. We're on our 32nd playground and we really envision and hope to have the opportunity to keep on going for a long, long, long time. Before every playground build, my dad tells a story about a girl on a beach and the girl's taking the starfish and throwing them into the water and a man walked up, walks up to her and the man says what's the point of this you're never gonna get all these starfish in the water well she picks one up and she says well I just saved this one and she just saved this one and uh, before you know it like the whole community is working to get all the starfish in the water we're reminded that when you see a group of kids out on a playground that would have been inside, would have been alone, isolated, and not interacting, that are better off as a result of the generosity of our supporters of Alexandra's Playground. For more information about Alexandra's Playground and the gift of play, visit alexandrasplayground.org or go to our website, thebalancingact.com. Thanks so much for joining us on this local edition of The Bouncing Act. We'll see you next time.